of a practical question. Um, and I've seen a picture of the, the Tesla power walls and like everything Elon does, it looks pretty mm. sexy, but mm. realistically, I mean, how many square, I mean, do you have to have a monster house in order to be able to fit in these installations? I mean, I'm assuming obviously a 500 foot condo, it wouldn't work or small, but I mean, do you have to have a minimum size of a house or a yard or some practical limitations that, uh, that make for, for you guys to be able to do an installation? There's a couple things that we work with. Uh, so we were installing them in um, like utility uh, rooms or utility closets. Um, garages are a great fit. So the one of the code changes was that they can't be installed in living spaces anymore. Uh, so if you look at Tesla's uh, marketing, you know, it's in somebody's living room. It looks sexy sitting there, as you mentioned. Uh, so now we're putting them just uh, they're a, a bit more out of sight, but you know they can still look fabulous in a garage or a mechanical room uh, as well. So so there's things like that that we work with. Um, we're also designing a, a I'm calling it a bunker, but it's just it's an outdoor basically a shed to host a number of power walls for a client that we're working on a unique project with in Toronto. Uh, so just we we welcome challenges and we just work to make this happen. So. <laughs> 